Hey guys, in this video we are going to be wrapping the rear tower bar in the 370Z. Here is the tower bar in question on the stock 370Z. This is just bare aluminum here. I um, really don't like the look of the aluminum, so originally I had already done this up in a black suede before I had started making videos. Um, but I have decided that I'm going to go for a different route here. I'm going to wrap it up in a different color. So we are going to try and remove this tower bar again to be able to change that up. Um, for those of you who haven't done this before, it's actually a lot more difficult than you might think. You do end up having to remove basically all of the interior trim panels starting from the doors all the way back. So this isn't a simple one hour project. This is actually gonna take quite a lot of time and effort. So I'm gonna go ahead and document this for you guys so you know how to do it yourselves. And real quick guys, just to warn you about doing this, uh, you do have to remove quite a few trim pieces here. I'm not exaggerating when I say you literally have to remove every single piece from the back of the trunk all the way to the doors. Um, just a lot of stuff that you have to remove to be able to get to this bar. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. If you're not a big fan of pulling trim pieces, maybe this isn't the project for you. One thing you want to make sure you do is leave yourself plenty of garage space on both sides of the car because we are going to be opening up the doors all the way. It's going to make it easier to be able to pull out the bits of trim. First things first, we are going to go ahead and pop the trunk here. I have to do a... Doing this with a spoiler in one hand with the camera is not easy. Let me go ahead and set the camera down. It'll be easier to pop the trunk. All right, guys, with the trunk open, we are going to take out the mat here in the trunk as well as the little plastic support piece that's underneath it. That way we can free up the pieces of trim here to be able to remove those. I am also, while I'm at it, going to pull up this rubber seal here that goes around the trunk. We're gonna pull that up all the way around towards the roof. That way we can take out these trim pieces as well because they are held down by that rubber seal. So let's go ahead and do that. Right now, the next piece we are going to remove is this plastic part here that sits at the back of the trunk. In order to do that, you are going to need to free up two little clips. There's one here and one over here on the other end. You can stick like a trim removal tool or a flathead if you don't have one into this little groove right here that sits inside the clip. That'll pop it out and then you can pull these out just fine. Um, you will also need to pop this light out. In fact, I can go ahead and show that to you now. Stick my trim removal tool underneath it. Light pops out and then you're going to want to unclip it. So that way the light frees up and then you can pull the trim piece out. The next part is to remove these two large trim pieces, one on either side of the trunk here and here. To do that, you again have these little clips. Just pull those out again using like a flathead or a trim removal tool, and then just pull on this piece of trim from the edges here, and then that should free it up. And I almost forgot, on these pieces here, you will also have, you can see here, a little clip. Make sure you take that out as well before you start pulling on the trim. And then again, you wanna make sure that that rubber seal has been pulled up all the way to the roof. That way this entire section here can be taken out. Now at this point, we should have most of the trim out of the trunk now. We will wanna go ahead and pull this piece of foam out because we are going to need access to some of the clips that are underneath it. So you can take that out. Set that aside. And then the next step is that we are going to try and remove these small little plastic covers that sit on top of both sides of the bar. You should be able to stick your trim removal tool underneath these and be able to pry them out. And just a heads up on these, I have found that it is easiest to stick your trim removal tool underneath this section here. And then when you pry up on it, the part is able to slide forward and out. That's the easiest way to take these off. All right, and now we're gonna move back to the cabin. And I apologize if I'm rushing through this, guys. I am trying to get this done on a certain time frame here. And it does take quite a lot of work to get all this out, so I'm kind of rushing through things. But next, we are going to go ahead and open up the doors because we're gonna now need to start taking out trim pieces inside the car. And this is gonna start with the two pieces of plastic trim that are sitting right here between the door and the seat. 
You should be able to just kind of pull on these with your hand to be able to pop them out. Uh, fairly simple, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set the camera down so I can use both hands. Okay, next we are going to want to pull up on this rubber seal. We want to get it off of this plastic trim piece here that goes all the way up to the roof here where the fabric is. So we need to pull that entire length out. Um, it's just kind of pressed on there. All you got to do is pull up on it and then just keep pulling it all the way off until you've gotten up to the piece of fabric here on the roof. You can see there. So just pull that section off. You don't need to take the entire thing off. In fact, I'd recommend leaving it. It'll make it easier to install later. And then just go ahead and do that for the passenger side as well. All right, guys, and at this point, we're probably about halfway to getting this tower bar removed. At this point, you want to go ahead and push your seats as far forward as possible. Lean them forward as well. This will give you as much room to kind of work back here as you can. The next step is gonna to be to take this little cubby out. Um, I already did, unfortunately the camera wasn't rolling, but just pull this door as far down as you can and then give it a firm tug, and then that should pull this door out. And with that cubby door removed, we also need to remove the little pieces of carpet that sit right here on these uh, shelves, I guess you would call them. They're both on the driver and passenger side. We need to take these off so that we can remove this large panel here that has the speaker in it. Um, I think the easiest way to do these is with a trim removal tool, you just need to pull up on the edges here. I think there's like three clips that hold this in. So just pull up on the edges and then that should release this uh, carpeted piece here. I would exercise caution when you're removing this panel because you can send it flying when it finally breaks loose. driver's side it is a little more challenging to get this panel out what it ended up doing is I wedged this smaller removal piece under here to be able to get in this larger part with the angle and be able to pull up on it that one can be tricky but it is doable so with these little carpeted pieces removed we are now going to set about removing the large panel here that has the speaker in it this panel if you will notice does wrap all the way back into the trunk. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that we'll need to get to right there that uh, requires like a long neck uh, socket to be able to get to that. So we'll take that out and then we'll begin popping this piece out. All right, so once you have the bolt removed from the hole there, we need to undo a clip that holds the trim on right here. I've already done that for this side. This clip came out fairly easily. Do be careful with these clips, guys. They are in there really tight. The first time I did this, uh, I ended up pulling really hard on the trim, and when it gave way violently, I ended up cutting myself on some of the edge of metal here. So just be really careful when you guys are pulling on these. All right, now we're gonna go back into the cabin to resume removing this piece of trim. And what I have found is easiest for this is you wanna start off by removing trim here from the top. Fortunately for me, I've already done this once before and it is already starting to remove itself. But once you have gotten all the way to the edge here, just continue to work your way down by pulling up on the trim to pop out all the tabs. And then once you've gotten all the way down the side of the door, there should only be a couple of clips left holding it down here. You just have to pull up on the trim piece and then it should pop out easily. All right, and now at this point, we can begin seeing some of those bolts over there that are holding on the tower bar. But unfortunately, we still can't get it out yet because we do still have to remove the supper panel here and these two panels that surround the tower bar to be able to actually remove it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to undo the seat belts here to be able to remove this panel. To remove the seat belt, you're just gonna have to take off the plastic cover here by popping it off with your trim removal tool. And then there will be a 14 millimeter socket that's sitting underneath that, which will allow you to take this off. And then once you have this bolt freed, you wanna be careful not to 
let the assembly kind of take itself apart. There's a lot of washers and things on here as well as a spacer. And they all need to go on in a certain order. So you want to make sure you kind of hold everything together. Don't let it just fall apart. What I would do is I would just kind of set it aside on the shelf here. That way none of these things come off. And then go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, now at this point, we will go ahead and remove this panel now that that seat belt is off. We can start off by popping all the clips along the edge here, and then we will move back in the cabin to take the clips off on the other side. And there is also going to be a wiring harness connected to this panel that I think uh, communicates with the key fob. Uh, we'll need to undo that as well to be able to free the panel. And then if you will see right here, here is that wiring harness that I was telling you about. I'm going to need to undo that clip there to be able to free the panel. Then you like should be able to just press down on the tab and then be able to pull this wire out. All right, and going back to the trunk again, we are now going to remove this plastic piece here. There are six clips that will be sitting along the bottom here. You'll just want to undo those with a flathead or another trim removal piece. And then you should be able to just pull on the top of this to be able to unclip it from the front piece. Now it is going to be difficult to maneuver this out of the car. I usually just leave it sitting in the trunk because it's not really going anywhere. Because um, it is a really large piece so it's difficult to pull it out. But anyways, we'll go ahead and take that out now. This is the last panel now that we're going to need to take off to be able to expose the bolts to remove the tower bar. Uh, for this, there are two clips on either side that were hidden underneath the little carpet piece that we had over there. Um, you just need to undo those and then once again you'll just tug firmly on the panel to be able to pull it back. You will not be able to remove it completely because it is covered by the center console here, but all you need to really be able to do is be able to pull these back to be able to expose these bolts. Now with those panels pulled back, we can finally get to the 12 millimeter bolts that hold the bar on with this bracket. We're gonna start with those two 12 millimeter bolts, one there and one a little bit lower. You may not be able to see it behind the panel here. Let me see if I can pull this back. There it is. Those are 12 millimeters, take those out first, and then you can take out the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the bracket to the side of the car, and then you should be able to pull this bracket out. I actually lied, this is a 13 millimeter bolt, not a 12. With those two brackets removed, we can finally take the bar out of the car. Just need to lift up on it, it's not too heavy. Um, you can either pull it out through the trunk or you can pull it through like, let's say the driver's side door. Um, fairly easy to get out there. All right, so we've got that tower bar removed now. I'm going to go ahead and sew on the new cover. This will be a white micro suede type material that I'll be covering this bar in. Um, I won't be going into too many details on actually sewing together the cover for it because I'm not here to teach you guys how to sew, but we'll go ahead and get the new cover placed on and then we'll reinstall the tower bar back in the car. All right guys, and here is the finished product. It is looking really nice. I managed to get all the creases out pretty much. Um, I do use a bit of tape here on the ends to try and pull the cloth taut so that we don't get any of those creases on there. Looking really good. The stitches, I wasn't able to uh, get these as straight as they were with the black cloth, unfortunately, um, because this cloth didn't cut as easily. Uh, but it's holding it together really well, and you won't be able to see any of this anyways because it's gonna be on the bottom of the bar. 
So now let's go ahead and get this reinstalled in the car. Okay, and the rear tower bar is now reinstalled in the car, as you can see there. Turned out much better than I was expecting. I did manage to get all the creases out. I really love the texture and the color as well. I am trying to do up more of the interior of the car in white, but I won't be doing anything else anytime soon, just because I've got some other projects already planned, but I will be doing some of the other bits of trim in a white leather later on. But this is the first part of the interior that I have managed to do up in white, and so far I am really loving the look of it. But anyways, guys, that is how you take out the rear tower bar in a 370Z. If you found this video helpful, give it the thumbs up. You can even leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.